Hey, welcome to another episode of What's Up with CE. And I'm not sure if you've noticed, but we're in a completely new decade, new year. And you know what else? We're in a brand new market. You may want to check this episode out. You know what? When there's market moving, there could be sometimes a few less listings available. So what does that mean that agents do? They drop their standards and drop their skill level and they take property at any price, number one, and they start devaluing themselves, meaning that they'll do you know, commission at 1%. I don't know, whatever it is in your marketplace. But does that mean you need to? Absolutely not. Do the top total opposite, meaning get better at your skills, practice, role play. But there's three things people are gonna buy from you at a listing presentation today. Number one, value belief, right? Give them the absolute clarity. How can you get them from point A to point B? Second thing they're gonna buy from you on value belief is confidence, right? The agents who are confident in the marketplace, meaning not arrogant or cocky, just feeling good and comfortable in your own two shoes. You know what I'm talking about, right? So have that value belief. Number two is value perception. Keep pushing your name out there, branding profile, online and offline. But here's the most important thing around your skill, incontestable value. You've heard me say it, I do it, and if you're not, implement it now. But incontestable value right now is about degrees of separation. Why should I choose you when I have three other agents in my marketplace that I can choose? And if I don't know any difference in you compared to everyone else, my decision's super easy. It's based on price. Cheapest commission, lowest marketing. Here it's about upping your skills. So get really good with your dialogue, get really good with your incontestable value, and you'll put yourself into pole position. Think about the word control, right? In a booming market, you know what most agents do? They get lazy. So they start to cut corners, meaning the vendor management stuff, like the simple basic set to sell meeting. Oh, we don't need to do a set to sell meeting, the market's flying. But here's the key, my friend. This is the problem that you will face. You know what, know what it is? your vendor's expectations are gonna go through the roof, meaning that they're gonna be thinking their home is worth a whole lot more in a booming market than it was maybe what it's realistically should be priced at. So you have the choice either to tighten up and control your vendors or allow them to guess what? Take control of you. Fifth one guys, and the final one, action, right? You know where you actually get the power is taking action every day. So that must mean you need to double down, triple down on your phone calls, on appointments, on dropping things out into your marketplace, online, offline. It's all about agent that takes the most action in this marketplace in this new year, new decade, and new market is absolutely gonna win. So how many calls you're making right now? Double it. How many appointments you wanna go on? double it. If you're doing two hours of door knocking, do four hours. If you're doing zero posts a week, do five posts a week. They're the people that are gonna move the needle in their business. Because let me tell you, if I asked you this question, what are the behaviors, what's the discipline, the habits and the attitude that will make your business great? If you actually thought about that for a quick moment and wrote down a list of all those things that would make your business great around those four core things, you will be the total rock star in real estate today. So as I leave you on this message today here, my friends, it's pretty simple. You've got five key things that you can do in this new decade, new year, but more importantly, in this new market that will raise your business through the roof. But any type of attitude, the market was tough or things are not going great, lose it today. The agents who take control will own this market in 2020.